This is chapter 3, section 3, and the reading of A Course in Miracles. Chapter, uh, section 3, Perception versus Knowledge. We have been emphasizing perception and have said l very little about knowledge as yet. This is because perception must be straightened out before you can know anything. To know is to be certain. Uncertainty means that you do not know. Knowledge is power because it is certain. And certainty is strength. Perception is temporary. As an ad attribute of the belief in space and time, it is subject to either fear or love. Misperceptions produce fear, and true perceptions foster love. But neither brings certainty because all perceptions vary. That is why it is not knowledge. True perception is the basis for knowledge, but knowing is the affirmation of truth and beyond all perceptions. All your difficulties stem from the fact that you do not recognize yourself, your brother, or God. To recognize means to know again, implying that you knew before. You can see in many ways because perception involves interpretation, and this means that it is not whole or consistent. The miracle being a way of perceiving is not knowledge. It is the right answer to a question, but you do not question when you know. Questioning illusions is the first step in undoing them. The miracle or the right answer corrects them. Since perceptions change, their dependence on time is obvious. How you perceive at any given time determines what, uh, what you do, and actions must occur in time. Knowledge is timeless because certainty is not questionable. You know when you have ceased to ask questions. The questioning mind perceives itself in time and therefore looks for future answers. The closed mind believes the future and present will be the same. This establishes a seemingly stable state that is usually an attempt to counteract an underlying fear that the future will be worse than the present. The fear inhibits the tendency to question at all. True vision is the natural perception of spiritual sight, but it is still a correction rather than a fact. Spiritual sight is symbolic and therefore not a device for knowing. It is, however, a means of right perception, which brings it into pow uh, proper domain of the miracle. A vision of God would be a miracle rather than a revelation. The fact that perception is involved at all removes the experience from the realm of knowledge. That is why visions, however holy, do not last. The Bible tells you to know yourself or to be certain. Certainty is always of God. When you love someone, you have perceived him as he is. And this makes it possible for you to know him. Until you first perceive him as he is, you cannot know him. While you ask questions about him, you are clearly implying you do not know God. Certainty does not require action. When you say you are acting on the basis of knowledge, you are really confusing knowledge with perception. Knowledge provides the strength for creative thinking, but not for right doing. Perception Miracles and doing are closely related. Knowledge is the result of revelation and induces only thought. Even in its most spiritualized form, 
perception involves the body. Knowledge comes from the altar within and is timeless because it is certain. To perceive the truth is not the same as to know it. Right perception is necessary before God can communicate directly to his altars, which he established in his sons. There he can communicate his certainty and his knowledge will bring peace without questions. God is not a stranger to his sons and his sons are not strangers to each other. Knowledge preceded both perception and time and will ultimately replace them. That is the real meaning of Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, said before Abraham was I am. Perception can and must be stabilized, but knowledge is stable. Perception can and must be stabilized because knowledge is stable. Fear God and keep his commandments becomes no God and accept his certainty. If you attack error in another, you will hurt yourself. You cannot know your brother when you attack him. Attack is always made upon a stranger. You are making him a stranger by misperceiving him, and so you cannot know him. It is because you have made him a stranger that you are afraid of him. Perceive him correctly so that you can know him. There are no strangers in God's creation. To create as he created, you can create only what you know, and therefore accept as yours. God knows his children with perfect certainty. He created them by knowing them. He recognizes them perfectly. When they do not recognize each other, they do not recognize him. That is the end of chapter 3, section 3 in the reading of A Course in Miracles.